Hello everyone. Just want to show off a new project of mine. It is an electric skateboard or a mountain board. Uh, it's almost completely custom. I built the battery pack myself and compiled a list of components uh, from lots of research online and uh, some YouTube videos and some forums and spent the past few weeks soldering some components together and learning a lot about uh, batteries and amperages and voltages and uh, and electronics and some physics even getting the gear reductions and you know math right so that it can power someone my weight and uh, get enough torque to go up hills and so on and so forth so I just wanted to show this uh, this cool little project off to you. Writing a bit of a close up on the board. So this is the front of the board. Got the foot straps, the battery box in the center, it's the uh, voltage meter there, it's kind of hard to photograph but it's on, showing about 80 something percent. This is the, uh, the motor and the speed controller inside that box as well as the receiver to the wireless nunchuck. Second day of electric skateboarding. Jacqueline's taking it for a ride. Yesterday we had a, uh, a wired nunchuck controller. But today I hooked up a new wireless nunchuck controller. Feels good in the hand. Has a uh, up for throttle forward, down for brake. Also has a button for reversing the direction. And a button that you hold to maintain cruise control using a PID algorithm. This uh, particular board is a single motor on the rear right wheel. It's uh, 63, I think 64 Turnigy SK3 with uh, 190 kV, which means 190 RPM per voltage applied. The battery is uh, custom built, um, ha uh, homemade out of 18650 LG MJ1 cells. Each one is 3.7 volts. 3,500 milliamp hours. I have 10 of those in series, which provides about 36 to 42 volts and three in parallel. So that's uh, three times 3,500 milliamp hours. And that produces, um, according to math, should be about 20 miles of range, give or take, assuming n most of it's flat. Uh, has a lot of torque. I went with a gear reduction of um, 17 teeth HTD 5 millimeter pitch belt pulley uh, attached to the motor shaft and then a 72 tooth um, pulley attached to the tire or the wheel itself. So that should produce a really good torquey gear reduction. You can see the battery is contained inside the the black box on the center of the board. Uh, it also that's where the um, the switch is. Uh, there's an anti-spark uh, connector which serves as the key and a uh, voltage meter for the battery. There's also a uh, buck converter inside there that provides a five volt max three amp. Um, 
USB or uh, two USB ports actually. Uh, so I could uh, put uh, put an Arduino in there. And the uh, in the other box at the rear of the deck, that's the electronic speed controller. It's actually a uh, Vetter speed controller or VESC uh, 4.12 uh, firmware. And uh, that is pretty top-end speed controller. You can program it with uh, lots of customization potential, uh, lots of coefficients and uh, min and max amperages and RPMs and, uh, and uh, thermo um, uh, temperature readings. So lots of safety features built into this box. Um, and in fact, the entire board has a few safety features. The battery management system uh, that's attached to each of the batteries keeps track of uh, uh, balancing the charge and discharge of the battery. There she goes. Oh, she's picking up some speed now. See the uh, the tires are, you know, I think they're six or eight inches. I forget actually. I want to say two hundred millimeters. Sounds about right. The uh, motor mount's temporary. The motor mount was uh, made out of wood, uh, more as a prototype to get the the dimensions right. Um, eventually, I'm gonna produce a CAD drawing out of that, a 3D CAD, and then hand that over to a, uh, a water jet or CN, you know, CNC service so that they can mill that out of uh, a solid block of maybe an aluminum alloy, uh, something strong. Um, too thin of pure aluminum and it'll just, you know, snap and the heat could get to it. The, uh, the lights are just standard uh, bike lights uh, on their independent uh, AA batteries or AAA batteries. Uh, but I hope to uh, either hook those up to the main battery, uh, bypassing you know the need for uh, for you know AA's or AAA's. I mean they are re rechargeable AA's in there, but uh, hopefully I can hook them up to the main battery pack and then even um, remove the need for the independent switches as well and just have that. Uh, be part of the main switch. It's also some ref uh, reflective tape all over it, just in case. Um, took a few weeks to build. Lots of suppliers. There's a great forum on the internet called Electric uh, Skateboard Dot Builders. Pretty much everything you need to know is on that forum and plenty of very helpful people. It was uh, started, I believe, by the, uh, the guy who founded and runs Inertion, uh, which is uh, fantastic. I think they're Australian uh, uh, company that produces uh, skateboards, uh, maybe not so much mountain boards. This is uh, technically called a mountain board uh, because of the wheels uh, and uh, the particular shape of the deck as well. Uh, it's meant for off-roading. And I chose it because Atlanta streets are pretty bad and there's metal plates everywhere and, uh, and broken sidewalks. And so I wanted to give myself the option. The board, according to math, um, like I said, it, you know, it has the 15 or 20 miles of range uh, with the battery pack, the 10S 3P battery pack. Um, and theoretically, according to some uh, spreadsheets um, where you put in the, the internal gear ratio of the motor, the voltage, uh, amperage, um, the gear reduction, the fact that I'm using 17, tooth and 72 tooth uh, pulleys 
it should receive a max speed or get to a max speed of uh, of um, about 30 miles an hour, maybe even 35, uh, assuming a flat surface. But most people agree, even the, uh, the, the experienced skateboarders and electric skateboarders, they say their psychological max, their uh, fear max is uh, about 20, 25 miles per hour. Uh, some people even say like about 15 to, tw 15 to 20. And considering that we have never skateboarded in our lives, I think we're mostly comfortable doing to about 10 miles an hour. It uh, definitely looks slower than it feels. And the video does look like we're crawling, but really uh, it, it feels a lot faster when you're on the board. And in typical fashion, the skateboard turns by tilting. If you go, uh, if you tilt back on the board, you turn right. And if you tilt front, then uh, if, as if you're getting on your tippy toes, it'll turn left. So uh, the the trucks are the metal, the axles, and they uh, when you when you tilt the board, they basically turn the trucks. They pivot the trucks, and uh, that can also be tuned with the uh, suspension. You can either make it firmer, uh, or you can make it softer, and that affects. Uh, affects steering but also affects stability of the board and uh, other things so you sometimes it's a, it's a balance you know you're sacrificing one thing to gain another well that's it so we're uh, we're practicing today we're gonna go into the belt line tomorrow so we're gonna be out in public with some friends get a good ride and we're trying to practice right now so we don't make total fools of ourselves thanks for uh, thanks for watching